guys, I'm Ariana. Down here is Cloud, my Italian Greyhound who I've had for about a month and a half. My husband and I purchased him and went and got him all the way in, out in Washington, Seattle. Um, we live in Colorado. I'm not going to say what city. But we live in Colorado and it was a little bit of a journey getting him. So I just kind of want to go into detail of how to stop your Italian Greyhound from crying all throughout the night whether you've had him for a day, a week, or a month, maybe you haven't figured it out, maybe you looked up YouTube videos or research or asked people and you just can't get your Italian Greyhound to stop crying all throughout the night. You've tried the Kong with peanut butter, you've tried the Thunder Vest and other things and it just wasn't working. Um, I think it's very important and before you click off this because you've probably already heard this as well, to have a routine for your Italian Greyhound. It's very important. But with that being said, there are tools you need as well in order to, to make it all work. So not only do you need a routine, but you need tools as well. So before I go on telling you um, how we fix the problem, I am going to tell you what we did wrong. So one of the things we did wrong was get him a giant extra large wired black crate. Um, the ones that have like a little crate piece divider where you could put it inside the crate and make it smaller if you like. Uh, we did that for the first night, and that was a big mistake. Even though he had a nice, comfy, big bed in there and a blanket, it just didn't make him feel safe. And, you know, we honestly thought maybe it's because, obviously, it, it being the first night with him um, in our new home and stuff, it was obviously scary for him, but it also didn't make him feel safe. So I would honestly suggest to not get that big of a crate for your telling Greyhound. He's super tiny and I feel like with him, a smaller crate worked a thousand times better. So the first night was horrible. He cried, he didn't bark, there was no barking or anything like that, but there was a lot of like little yawn yelling. He's like, Wah! like weird stuff, crying and things like that. And no matter what, do not give in on your Italian Greyhound. Do not go for last resort or first resort and put him on your bed. Do not give in, do not feel bad. You just have to find what works for your Italian Greyhound. I think it's important to have a routine and to make sure that you do whatever it takes to get them used to the way of your living. Because remember, your Italian Greyhound is coming into your home and it, you have to have rules in your home, just like if you would have a kid. You have to set rules, boundaries, and teach them. You can't give in when they're crying, and you cannot give in when you look at them and they look sad. Do not feel bad. You need to start a routine from the moment you get your Italian Greyhound and stick with it. Figure out what's best um, for your Italian Greyhound, and I promise you, things will get easier and your Italian Greyhound will be happy. The next thing I want to talk about is because he was crying all night, I looked up YouTube videos, I looked up research, how can I stop my Italian Greyhound from crying, how can I stop a dog from crying, um, and things like that. Obviously, like I said, stress and anxiety from getting to know us, being taken out of his home, especially because he was five months. He had already had a bond with his other little puppy brothers and sisters and his mom. Um, this was all new to him, and obviously he's going to freak out about that, but obviously the shelter we had for him did not work as well. But we, in that moment, were not thinking that the shelter was a problem. We thought it was anxiety and things like that, and obviously that has to go with how he feels in his home. But we tried things like giving him a Kong and filling it up with peanut butter and putting that in there. That only helps for maybe a couple minutes or until it's finished. We even tried freezing it, things like that. Another thing we tried was the Thunder shirt. Although I do think that there are benefits to both of those things, they are not going to fix the problem and they are not going to help you um, train your Italian Greyhound to just be happy and settled with that. That's just not how it works. Those are just things I think that help when you leave the home, but it's not going to help to help your Greyhound, Italian Greyhound stay in his bed and be comfortable throughout the whole entire night. Although the Kong with peanut butter, frozen peanut butter, and the Thunder shirt are both two great items to help alleviate some anxiety, they do not fix the problem and they will not stop him or her from crying all throughout the night. So once we had realized that, both my husband and I um, also got him some type of like it's not perfume, but it's like a mister you put on the Thunder shirt, like aromatherapy kind of situation to help ease the stress. And that didn't help at all. 
none of those things are fixing the problem. And honestly, maybe we're silly, maybe this is common sense to other people, but we realized, I believe, I wanna say three or four days after the first couple nights. The first night was horrible. The second night was worse. The third night there was crying off and on. It started to get a little better that he understood that he was ours, that we loved him and things like that. Um, finally, we realized this is the one thing, the thing that I hope you've been waiting for that helped us tremendously. Changing the type of kennel or crate that we got him and it helped so much. Like I can't stress how much this helped. The type of kennel or crate, same kind of thing I guess, we got was this one. It's extra small versus the extra large wired crate we had for him. Don't feel bad that they look uncomfortable or that it's super small. This is mostly recommended anyways. Originally when we thought into getting this, we thought, you know, he needs a lot of space. We want to feed him in there and things like that. We learned throughout the way, but we did learn fast. So thankfully he wasn't under too much stress for that long of time. We just had to learn what he liked and what worked for all of us. So we keep this little kennel in our room. He just needs a small blanket. It also helps with potty training. Because it is so small, they will be uncomfortable and not want to pee in their kennel. Now you have to also figure out a routine on where they eat, pee, and sleep. So that'll be a separate video that I make, but this will help with them to not have accidents throughout the night. Anyways, so once we put them in here, also because it's so small, I think that when they do cry or they're like moaning or whatever, um, it's so enclosed on them that they hear a little bit of the echoes, so they're not as loud. He, it totally and tremendously helps. So I recommend getting something like this small, put it by your bed where they can see you and feel safe, put a nice little blanket in there. And if you must put a toy that is safe for them that they wouldn't like tear apart into million pieces, eat or choke on, or things like that or even get a blanket that you think they wouldn't rip up so for me I'm just gonna give an example this isn't the blanket I put in there I have a separate blanket for him but it's similar to this material um, it's super thin you just want to put a thin amount put it down so that they have enough room to feel comfortable they're not touching the hard edges beneath them they're also very skinny and need to be able to cuddle into their blanket if they need to I just really want to be able to help people who are either thinking about getting an Italian Greyhound or who have purchased one recently or maybe you are struggling with this and I hope you come across my video because I wish I would have found a more informative video and something that helped because like I said even though the Kong with peanut butter, the Thunder shirt, little things like, like that, like it's important that they have a nice secure home. That is what is important. He does not eat out of this home. He does not pee out of this home. This home is strictly to sleep in and he does have a routine. Um, of course, if we are up way later, like 11 or 12, that's fine. We get him to use the restroom before bed. Um, the thing is, is you don't want them in their crate too long and you also want them to be able to have an empty bladder when they enter their home. And if you are obviously using the restroom in the middle of the night, please get up and let your Italian Greyhound use the restroom as well, or at least try to get them to use the restroom, so that way they're comfortable while they're sleeping as well. Um, also, too, in the morning, first thing you do, take them to the restroom. This crate is not to be having accidents in. This crate is simply just for sleeping. That was our goal, and he stays in our room. He can see me perfectly. You can put a little bed in there if you want. We did have that, however, when we left one day, we put him in there with his cute little um, bed and he chewed it up while we were gone. He had really bad anxiety. Unfortunately, where we were going, pets were not allowed, so I couldn't take him with me. So that is what happened and I think the blanket just works a lot better and now I've learned that when I do leave and um, he has to stay home alone for a little bit, I put just his plain thin blanket in there and a chew toy. Again, a chew toy that is safe, that he won't break apart, and that um, will help alleviate some anxiety and stress. I really hope this video helped you. I plan on making um, this whole entire channel about my Italian Greyhound, our adventures, our journey. I'm gonna also do a potty training video and things like that so that way I can help people or that people can also share their knowledge and information with me. I am a first time Italian Greyhound owner and so is my husband, but this journey has been pretty crazy. Um, I'm not gonna lie, the first night we had him, I'm like, oh my God, 
we have to take we have to take him back he has to go back to the breeder and my husband's like it's been one night she said this would happen it's okay we'll figure it out so if you are going through the same thing do not give up on your Italian Greyhound I promise you it'll be okay you guys just need to find what works for you guys um, I live in an apartment one part of my apartment where the room is is completely um, carpeted and then our living room is wood floors so when he is in our room it is basically only to sleep in we the first month that we had him he had no free reign of just running wherever he wanted he's not allowed on the bed at all because once they are on your bed they do not want to leave so if you do try this kennel give it a couple of days let them warm up to it do not give in to your Italian Greyhound though just because they are crying and they look sad do not let them in on your bed also it's not just because it's like a oh you have your bed and I have mine it has nothing to do with that although it should be that way um, if you have got a puppy or they're not fully developed their legs are very easy to break so you have to be careful with your Italian Greyhound you don't want to wake up to broken legs or them suffocating or even worse because you need to make sure that they are safe in their own little home sleeping in their own little spot obviously it's okay to nap with them and snuggle with them there's nothing wrong with that but when it comes to nighttime they have their spot and you have yours so that's very important i will also do future videos like i said of potty training but i also want to do videos of what to do when you leave home and stuff like that i can't fit that all in one video this is strictly just how to get your italian greyhound to stop crying at night when it is bedtime um i really hope that this works for you it helped us tremendously um, I want to say, of course, there's going to be little moaning, a little bit of crying when you first put them in. you got to teach them. If they're, you know, crying, what I do is go, ch -ch -ch. Um, he normally stops or I'll, be, or I'll tell him, quiet, be quiet. Don't get too aggressive with them. They are very little delicate creatures. They get their feelings hurt way too easily. They just want to love you. Honestly, this little guy is so awesome. I haven't had any problems with him with a lot of things which i'll share also in another video the only thing that is not annoying but kind of sucks is just how much he obviously wants to be with us every second of his life i don't blame him because he gives ultimate love and so do i, I love him so freaking much he's such a good puppy um obviously we went through a couple of hard times but things are getting better it's getting easier i was worried the first week we had him but you know what things have changed as long as you work with your animal you guys can get through anything if you need additional training like honestly like in the beginning i thought oh my god i'm gonna have to take him to training you know i need to teach him this i need to teach him that don't stress start off slow let them learn with you and everything will be okay just please again do not give up on your italian greyhound you guys will figure it out try the small kennel try having the routine um and just letting them know that it's okay but do not give them too much attention if they are crying throughout the night it'll get easier so throughout you know time it got better and better there are still some nights where he is crying or he's a little fussy but it's gonna happen um they're a little bit of big crybabies anyways obviously that's just kind of one of their traits they love they want to be with you 24 7 but it'll all work out so thank you guys for watching our video if you have any other questions um other than that that's really the only thing that we changed about how he slept and how he was comfortable um obviously you don't want to leave them in their crate too long that's why the routine part is the best thing if you work at night or things like that or you work till super late you know if you have someone who's able to watch him and spend time with him until you get home or stuff like that just figure out what works with your schedule figure out um things like that especially if it's the first week or day or month that you have him and if things are getting worse um there's other things you can try that's just the thing that worked for me and i really do hope that it helps other people because it's no fun seeing your little Iggy sad and like going through anxiety and learning new ways. But that's all I have to say, I believe. Like I said, if you have any other questions, feel free to comment like he's so tired right now. They're like the best freaking snugglers. But we love each other. He's the best. And we can't wait to share more videos with you. And yeah, want to say bye?
No, you just want to play, huh? <laughs> so yeah, we'll talk to you guys later. See you in our next video. I can't wait to share more with you guys and show you guys our adventure. I will say that it has been about a month and a half now that I've had him. Um, he's six months. He was born Christmas Eve. Just a little information about him since I didn't say that in the beginning. And I can't wait to look forward to the rest of his life with us. He's like my child. I don't have kids or anything like that or friends. So it all works out for all of us. So we'll see you guys later. Say bye, Cloud. Thank <laughs> you.